Hi folks and welcome to the next video tutorial in this series around Apple Business Manager. In this video I will show you the simple process of how to 1. Assign a device to your MDM server and 2. Create and assign an ADE profile in Microsoft Intune. So, without further ado, let's get started. OK, before we get into it, ensure you have two browser tabs open. One tab is signed into Apple Business Manager, available at business.apple.com, and one tab is signed into Microsoft Intune, which is available at endpoint.microsoft.com. In the Microsoft Intune portal, you'll want to navigate to Devices, Enroll Devices, Apple Enrollment, and then Enrollment Program Tokens. Click Enrollment Program Tokens to reveal the token we created and imported to Microsoft Intune during a previous video. Go ahead and click your Enrollment Token. If at this point you do not see a token available, click the banner in the top right corner to follow the steps in our previous video setup automated device enrollment for Microsoft Intune. Then circle back to this video once complete. OK, so let's head over to our Apple Business Manager portal. Before we assign a device, we should be confident to ensure the MDM server token is indeed still active. Click your name in the bottom left corner to reveal a small submenu. Click Preferences. In the main submenu under your MDM servers, hopefully, you will see the server token that we created in the previous video. My token is called UEM Authority Mem Intune. To assign a device to our MDM server token, we click Devices from the left hand side menu. As you can see, I have added an iPhone XS to Apple Business Manager for this demonstration. I will be making a video tutorial to demonstrate how to use Apple Configurator 2 to add a device to Apple Business Manager. So, do make sure you are subscribed with notifications turned on so as not to miss an update. Clicking the iPhone XS, more information about the device is revealed. For example, we can see here under Details, the source is Apple Configurator. From the top ribbon, click Edit MDM Server. In the small dialog box, select the option assigned to the following MDM. I will select UM Authority Mem Intune, as this is the only token available to me. After clicking Continue, you will be asked to validate the choice you made. Click Confirm. For audit purposes, we can review the Assignment History section by clicking Assignment History from the left-hand side menu. We can see here, the MDM server assignment is confirmed, showing the assigned to as UEM Authority Mem Intune. OK, so let's head over to our Microsoft Intune portal. Click Devices from the left-hand side submenu. Unfortunately, synchronization between Apple Business Manager and Microsoft Intune is not instant. This means we must initiate a forced synchronization. Click the Sync button to initiate a force sync, then we must wait for the token to perform and complete a synchronization cycle, which may take anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes. Once the token has completed a synchronization cycle, go ahead and click their fresh button. Now, you will see the assigned device from Apple Business Manager appear in the list below. To create an ADE profile in Microsoft Intune, click Create Profile and then click the iOS iPadOS option. Give the profile a suitable name. I recommend related to the device's function and whether user affinity is required or not. In this example, I will name the profile a DE User Affinity Default Profile. 
Provide a description of the profile and its function if required. Click Next to continue. First, we must define whether enrolment is to use user affinity or not. User affinity defines the association between the user and the device. This also defines which authentication method is required during enrolment. Enroll with user affinity equals a one to one association between user and device. Enroll without user affinity, generally, describes a device to be userless or shared device and therefore no association between the user and the device. For the purposes of this demonstration, I will select Enroll with user affinity because I would like for the user to be associated with the device. Subsequent hidden authentication settings will appear after selecting Enroll with user affinity. To ensure authentication takes place within the Setup Assistant experience on the device and that I as the user can satisfy any MFA requirements, I will select Setup Assistant with Modern Authentication. Unless a scenario or use case exists, which requires authentication through the company portal or Setup Assistant legacy option, I recommend only using Setup Assistant with modern authentication. Next, we should see the ADE profile automatically pull in the VPP token currently active within your Microsoft Intune tenant. If at this point you do not see a VPP token available, click the banner in the top right corner to follow the steps in our previous video setup volume purchase program, VPP. For Microsoft Intune. Then circle back to this video once complete. OK, next we want to ensure all management options are configured correctly. I will select Supervised as Yes, because there is no valid reason for the device to not be supervised by default. To note, any device running iOS 13.0 or above is automatically supervised when enrolled with automated device enrollment. This option here is reserved for devices running an earlier iOS version. Locked enrollment means the enrollment profile is locked to the device. The user is unable to remove management or delete the profile. I will select yes. Sync with computers can be seen as a contentious setting. On one hand, if the use case stipulates an element of personal usage, then it's highly likely the user may want to back up their personal data via iTunes, in which case, sync with computers may want to be allowed, right? A word of caution. Choose this setting wisely. For the purposes of this demonstration, I will select Allow All. Next, we are able to set a defined device name template for all devices. Currently, the supported variables are serial and device type. So, for this example, I will set the name template as UEM Authority device type. Click Next to configure Setup Assistant options. Provide a department name and department phone. I recommend your IT department support service or help desk. Next. We are able to define which screens are displayed during the Setup Assistant experience. I will select Toggle All to Hide as I would like the Device Setup Assistant experience to be streamlined. Feel free to customize this to suit your needs. When you are ready, click Next. Review the settings to ensure there are no mistakes and then click Create to finish. OK. Great. We can see the profile has been created successfully and is now available to view in the list. We now want to assign the profile to a device. Click Devices from the left-hand side submenu. Find your device or devices from the list. Click the toggle box next to each device and then click the Assign Profile button from the top ribbon. Select the correct profile from the Enrollment Profile drop-down and then click Assign. Microsoft Intune may take a few minutes to assign the profile, 
so do periodically click their fresh button from the top ribbon. Once the profile has been assigned, you will see a date and time under the profile assigned column in the device list for each device entry. And there you have it. You've successfully assigned devices to an MDM server in Apple Business Manager and created and assigned an ADE profile in Microsoft Intune. Keep in mind that you can also set a default ADE profile in Microsoft Intune so as to streamline administration. But that's a topic for another tutorial. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.